Sisters and brothers, Awe Inusiemi, Pastor Mero speaking. In the name of the Tanzambia Mazulu, creator of heavens and earth, the one who in order me to be your servant and to get you prepared to go back to Zion, Congo de Antotela, Lovuvamu, peace be with you. Today is Sunday, February 14th, 2021, and we are making our 51st video. The theme is The Sign of the Most Highest Prophet, Written Testimony. Writing is a divine exercise inasmuch as the Creator gave man the gift of writing first in order to materialize the intangible. The material is the Word of the Almighty. In the beginning was the Word. The Word is God. God is invisible, so is the Word. In order for it to be perpetually preserved, this Word had to become visible. It had to move from the intangible to the material. So the Creator, after giving man the Word, gave him the gift of writing. Thus, from the very fact that the Most High Himself wrote, materializing the Ten Commandments which He had just given to Moses on two tablets of stone, writing or writing is of divine essence. This unique event in the history of mankind happened on Mount Sinai, Africa, and nowhere else. This fact, like many others who extol Africa as the continent of the Most High, is not fully emphasized. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount and be there, and I will give thee tables of stone and a law and commandments which I have written, that thou mayest teach them. And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform even the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. As we have just seen through the aforementioned biblical passages, the Creator Himself, the Most High, wrote. So the Lord has a scripture, a writing. This, as we have seen in our 49th video devoted to Meloitic writing, cannot exceed 10 signs, 10 characters, corresponding to the 10 words or logos spoken by the Creator to bring the heavens and the earth to existence. These ten signs correspond to the ten fingers of the man created in the image of the Most High. Five for each hand, which is why the Most High wrote not on a table but on two tables of stone. The Lord, having thus written, opened the way for a long list of inspired writers. Moses first, who wrote the Pentateuch, namely the first five books of the Bible, then Joshua, Samuel, Ezra, Nehemiah, Job, David, Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Abadius, Jonah, Micah, Nehum, Habakkuk, Sephaniah, Ajay, Zacharias, Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and the epistles of Paul, Peter, Tite, James. All those whom the Most High inspired, those to whom he made an important revelation for mankind, have written so that the memory will last. It is therefore also by this sign that we recognize those who do not speak of their own authority, but have been inspired by the Holy Spirit to thus help change the curse of human history. This is how it is written that the Most High, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto His servants the prophets. Once these, or these revelations have been transmitted to the one who automatically becomes a prophet, the latter has an imperative duty to put in writing what the Spirit has entrusted to him, 
so that this be material word is materialized and serves as a testimony and an instrument of faith for others. In light of the above, we must regard Pastor Mello as a prophet who received the revelation of the utmost importance from the modern semi, from the Most High. The cry uttered by the Apostle Paul 2,000 years earlier therefore had to find an echo with Pastor Mello. For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. For woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. At the age of 12, moved by the Holy Spirit, the one who would become Pastor Mello read the whole Bible from cover to cover. After this reading, the Most High revealed to him that he would have to participate in an important way in the return of the diaspora in Africa in general, but within the territory of the Kingdom of Congo in particular. Later, then 26 years old, the Most High, knowing that the moment of the great revelation was approaching, said to him, From now on you will keep a daily journal, that is to say that you will write everything from day to day, what happens in your life, even the most trivial things. So since 1981, Pastor Mel has obeyed the voice of the Most High and started to write as evidenced by the scan documents that we are submitting for your analysis. This is the daily diary for the year of grace 1983, for it was in that year that the Lord appeared in a burning bush to the person concerned. It was on March 9, 1983, in the room of Pastor Mello in the ninth arrondissement of Paris. On that day, the truth and secret of Fatima was revealed to Pastor Mello, not in detail, but in outline. He then set to work a long and sometimes tedious task of research and investigation in order to provide concrete, tangible, and evidence understandable for even a small child that what was revealed to him is the truth. Having gathered all the biblical, historical, and scientific elements in support of the revelation received from one and Semi, Pastor wrote the book, The Truth and Secret of Fatima and the Return of Christ, which is made available to all for free on the Bantu Family .net site. As so often happens, the saying goes that the greatest secrets are kept in the unbelief of men. Yeah, yes, today Pastor Mel, who revealed to humanity in general, but more particularly to the diaspora, which is the divine language at the origin of the creation of the world with supporting evidence is vilified, dragged in the mud, and called a false prophet. As the Apostle Peter says, we should rejoice when we are persecuted for a good cause. This is where we must take our glory. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. For the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any other kind of criminal or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. Pastor Mel's only reason to start writing a daily diary as from 1981 was to bear testimony when the moment comes that indeed the Most High has spoken to him. The moment is this, you have the choice to believe or not in Geta Pass to Mao.